Hi everybody, welcome back to Just Dream Guide. Okay, so you guys know how this goes, channel messages first. So I hope you all are enjoying this shift, the shift that happened after the solar eclipse and the new moon in Libra, which is about balance, manifesting from a balanced place. So the new moon brought in a lot of manifestations, a lot of everything that you want, new energy, new moon. And the solar eclipse brought in clarity, lots and lots of clarity, shedding light on a lot of things that needed to happen to transition, to change, it's pushing change, okay? A lot of people that are dealing with a lot of karma right now, they're, they're seeing things in a different perspective, in a different light. I'm seeing a lot of divine masculines, okay? But take it how it resonates because I know some of you all are in same-sex relationships. But take it how it resonates. This runner, the person who's been running from love and running from love and running from love, back to that karmic situation, running back, running back, running back, is about to run back, okay? Towards you, chase your love. That's what I'm seeing. That's what I saw this weekend as far as, you know, the weekend clarity. I gave y'all a little guidance. Spiritual unions are here. The decision has been made, okay? This person has really, really had enough of this karma. They're tired of suffering. But Father's putting them in that place of suffering because they have to see. Remember, a karmic is only in your life to really change you so you can see the spiritual lesson. You know, and what I'm hearing right now is Crawl by by um, by Chris Brown. Remember I said that person's been running, running, running. They're about to come back. I'm hearing everybody seizes you. I'm the one who lost of you. Everybody says we're through. I hope you haven't said it too. So anyway, yeah, your person is definitely like, I hope you haven't said that too. I hope you haven't, you know, let go of the possibility of this union. I'm seeing that your masculine is dreaming a lot about you. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Visions of you. Visions of love, okay? Everything that's happening right now, they're wishing that you were there. Because they're going through a lot of turmoil. But Archangel Cassiel, she's the angel of uh, karma and the keeper of time. And she knows when it's time to deliver this karma in order to change. Because people sometimes, when they get karma and they keep getting karma and they're not ready to change... They just keep getting karma, okay? They go, oh, well, well, I deserved it. And Father's like, it's not that you deserved it. It's like, it's, a, it's to teach you that you shouldn't do it. <laughs> not like, oh, okay, yeah, I just robbed this person and I got robbed. So now I deserve that. So let me go out and rob somebody else. Then, you know, maybe karma will catch up to me. And maybe it won't. Because sometimes people do things and they realize that, you know, karma is not always instant. It's not. Karma sometimes builds up and builds up and builds up. And this masculine is learning that. Finally learning the lesson because those immediate karmic lessons weren't, weren't fixing the situation. This person wasn't seeing things as they should, excuse me. So they kept going through life doing things to people, especially divine feminine or divine people. And I'm seeing in their past that they had a lot of things that they did. Maybe it was financial, for financial gain, manipulation, deception, cheating, lying, cheating with somebody who was, you know, like, I'm talking ultimate disrespect when it comes to loyalty. Cheating on your, you, uh, cheating with your friend, cheating with your family member, cheating with a co-worker. I'm seeing really nasty stuff here, okay? I'm also seeing somebody doing a lot of different things that they shouldn't have been doing for money. Now they're being stripped of everything, doing a lot of things for material things, clothes, shoes, car, house. These people are being stripped of car. They're being stripped of house because they did some manipulative things and they felt like they got away with it. And father's like, you didn't get away with it. I was just buying your time, hoping that you change, making you change and you didn't change. So now it all comes down. Now this ultimate punishment comes down. And remember that karmic is in people's lives to teach them a lesson. So whatever they did to you or anybody else in their past, in a past relationship is being done on them now. If they cheated on somebody with a friend or, you know, cheated like, oh, okay, well, I stole your girlfriend, that kind of thing, all of that kind of stuff, this karmic has done to them. If you, you know, experience somebody who was just about material things, you know, when it comes down to a car, clothes, or shoes, or anything like that, electronics, this karmic has stolen electronics. This karmic has taken them for all their money. This karmic has taken a car, clothes, house. This is why this masculine has had such a hard time leaving the situation because they keep holding on to these material things. But they don't understand what well, they're understanding now. But Father's saying they didn't understand that this was all to strip them of their material things so they can stop placing so much value on things. Love wins. Love is the only thing that you need. So now all they have is love. All they have in this whole situation is love, but love for their divine feminine.
not love for this karmic because they see that there's no love there. They've tried to make it work because they're a good person, but mainly because they wanted these material things back that this person stole from them. Say they were paying rent for this karmic. They wanted to stay because they're like, well, I pay rent here. And father's like, okay, this is your karma. Let that go. Even if they shared a car together, if they shared a house together, if they shared anything material, I'm talking, you know, household objects, household appliances, computer, laptop, um, whatever. This person had to be stripped speakers. I'm seeing all kinds of stuff, okay? All kinds of just material stuff that you can't take these things with you when you pass. Trust me, I know. My grandmother, when she passed, we couldn't do anything with her stuff but sell it or give it away. We kept some mementos. But when I pass, what am I going to do with those mementos? I'm going to pass them down, but you can't pass down a whole house full of stuff. So y'all have to be mindful of the things that y'all see when it comes down to material things and placing so much value on things and not people. Because when you take away all the material things, you got to think about who's been there for you. Who supported you? Who's had your back through it all? Who's the most loyal? Who's the most faithful? Who's the most person who, who really, really doesn't care and who loves you unconditionally? Doesn't care about your transgressions and the things that you've done. They say, okay, well, Father gives another chance. Father grants grace. And so I grant grace and mercy to you too. Because I want to be forgiven just as I always tell you this. Forgive us as trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. So that's how Divine Feminine has treated the whole situation and Divine Masculine had to learn this harsh lesson through this karmic. Like I always say, the karmic is just there for a lesson. They realizing that it's not love. So this enlightenment that's come from the solar eclipse and this new moon energy, this new stuff, this new feeling, this masculine doesn't want to go through another cycle of losing things again. They're already being stripped of their finances. And I'm hearing spiritual poverty as well. Somebody's depressed. Somebody's living in regret. Somebody's living in their mind. Circle, circle, circle around in their head. Worrying about things. Um, definitely not having the things that they need anymore. Their needs aren't even being met as much as they should. That's because Father is showing them. Make this decision. Make the choice. He's tired of forcing your hand. Forcing your hand and forcing your hand. So these karmic... Things are necessary, but as I said, this weekend, karmic cycles have been closed. There's spiritual union that is happening here with this divine connections. So have no fear. Just trust the process, especially divine feminines that are just sitting back. Y'all are not involved. Don't get involved. Don't look that way. When people are getting their whoopings and stuff like that, their, their, their punishments, it's, it's advised not to even, it just trust that karmic endings are happening. Trust in justice. Trust that the justice system will pay out, okay? That the things will be right. Judgment has been called. It's not your business to judge the situation or to point fingers or to blame anybody for anything. You just focus on loving on yourself, okay? You might be having a lot of dreams as well, a lot of visions as well, but you focus on loving yourself. Self-love, self-care, self-happiness, determination to just continue to move forward. Whatever happens, you got to surrender and leave it in God's hands. Because he has the whole situation under control. He knows that this masculine needs to make the necessary changes. And he's working on it. So you just got to believe that things work out. For the goodness of those who love the Lord. That's a scripture as well. So just bask in your own lovingness. Okay? Love yourself so much that you attract so much abundance. And as I always say, abundance in all areas. Prosperity in all ways. So you getting financially blessed. You get mentally, peacefully spiritually blessed okay you get peace that passes all understanding and it's all for this connection to come in so that you won't be playing the blame game so you won't be pointing fingers so you won't be so hurt this is all for you to just enjoy life everyone needs to get to the point where they're enjoying life okay because he came so we can have life and have it more abundantly that's the point of love, is to have life and have it more abundantly. It's not about thinking about the material things. It's about thinking about the love and the happiness that you want. And material things just fall in your lap. And you're like, okay, thank you, Father. But remember to come from a place of gratitude as well. So anyways, thank Father for these lessons. Whether you're on the right side or the, the karmic side of the situation, thank Father for these lessons because it's all to teach you to gain the courage to come forward, make the right decisions so that unions can happy and it's all happen. And it's all about your happiness. Okay, Father wants to see you happy. He doesn't want to do these punishments. It, it hurts him just as much, just like a father would. Anyways, that's what I have for you all. I hope this information helped you. Bless. Let's go to the. Let's see what today has for divine masculine and divine feminine. Thank you.